Brad Johnson here from Johnson.audio, and I'm here to discuss with you Pro Tools versus Logic. Which DAW is better for you? Now, if you're not familiar with the term DAW, it's Digital Audio Workstation. It is going to be the software that you are going to use to record your music. And Avid's Pro Tools and Apple's Logic Pro 10 or Pro X are going to be some of the most popular ones you're going to come across. And there's going to be a lot of debate between which is better. You know, Avid Pro Tools is industry standard. Logic Pro is, you know, cheaper and has more features. I don't know, whatever you think. But, you know, you're going to hear all different stuff from different camps. And the short answer to this question of the verses is neither one is better than the other. It all depends on what it is that you're going to use it for. I personally use both. And so I actually use Pro Tools and I use Logic. I started off with Logic. So if you're going to choose one, it's just kind of whichever one that you decide to choose from the beginning. I don't believe that any DAW sounds better than the other. And really, at the end of the day, it's just whatever one you're familiar with. If you're thinking about switching platforms, I don't recommend it. I would say stick with whatever you're using, even if it's not one of these two I'm discussing now. Just stick with it. If you know it, it works good. I worked with a producer that used Digital Performer. And... If you haven't heard of Digital Performer, it's just another DAW. It's kind of a kind of old school one, and you know, I mean, but he uses it. And he uses, makes great productions. So don't really worry too much if you're using one already that you need to switch. Don't do it. But if you have the luxury of having multiple DAWs, it doesn't hurt. And so I'm going to explain to you now why. Um, Pro Tools is the industry standard absolutely if you go to any major studio they're running pro tools most likely so knowing your way around pro tools if you're thinking about you know developing this into more than just a hobby and actually going into a career in audio engineering learning pro tools is going to be a very wise decision just because it is so highly used and well regarded in the professional realm now if you're just a songwriter and you just bought your computer and you're looking at what kind of software to use and you use apple Logic is a really good way to go because first of all, it's very affordable. It's $200 and you get pretty much all the features that you can get in Pro Tools. It works great. It's, um, you know, you get a huge plugin library. You have all the editing and mixing and mastering stuff that you would need to get started. And it works, it integrates really easy with your computer. So I would let, recommend Logic if you're just starting out and you just have a computer and you just want to record yourself. But now, why do I use both? I use Logic because I think it's great for pre-production. I think pre-production with Logic is really awesome. It's definitely a really easy tool to use to kind of just get your, um, your bare bones recording into the computer and then you can start layering stuff on top of it. And so with the drummer feature, it's really easy. It's really quick just to set up a little drummer track and kind of get your drum groove going without having to do a lot of programming. Um, I'll feel like a lot of the synths on the, in the software are really, they sound great and you can just add a lot of good synth layers and you can just kind of, all the virtual instruments within Logic, I just feel like work really well. There are virtual instruments in Pro Tools. Pro Tools is actually behind in this for a while, but I feel like they have caught up. But still, I just like using Logic when it comes to just arranging and doing pre-production blueprint work. Um, I also like Logic for comping, like vocal comping. I like the swipe comp feature over the way that um, Pro Tools does playlists. And I just think it's a lot easier and more um, quick and effective. So I do like comping. But the thing about that is I do kind of like recording in Pro Tools a little better than Logic. And so having to bounce out that stuff from Pro Tools into Logic, I wouldn't do that. So there's kind of one of those, that, that workflow thing. So sometimes I might actually just track in Logic just to be able to have the swipe comp features. I do feel like it is a little more intuitive and it's quicker. Um, so it's kind of a tomato, tomato, whatever. But where I like Pro Tools now better than I like Logic is when it comes to drum editing. I love Beat Detective. I know that Logic has flex time editing but Beat Detective for me just, I feel like works better. I think Pro Tools overall utilizes groups in the way that they do groups better than Logic does. And Pro Tools, when you're using Beat Detective, you have to think about, um, you know, they, you're using groups when you're editing in, you know, Pro Tools software. And then if you're using 
Apple Logic software, you're going to be, you know, I just feel like groups just aren't as intuitive. And that's just the bottom line. And so there's that to think about. And then I also like Pro Tools software because of the mixing. I like mixing better in Pro Tools. I just think that there's better key or short keys for it. And just the way it's laid out, I just think is easier to um, navigate around because of the way Pro Tools software uses the um, just the whole function with where you can see like the arrange window and on the side you can kind of see all your plugin categories and your send categories in logic software it doesn't really necessarily it lays it out with the one track but you kind of have to flip between tracks to see what's on that specific track and then you have to flip to the mixing window and back and there's a lot of just changing windows that I just don't necessarily love I mixed in Logic for a very long time, so I know how to navigate around it better. But when I went to intern at a studio and I started using Pro Tools more as well, I just found that to be a better overall user experience. So I also just I just prefer the mixing in Pro Tools. So when it comes to Logic, I love pre-production. I love the comp swipe comp feature. And then in Pro Tools, I love using Beat Detective and I like mixing in it. So I will use both just depending on what it is that I am doing. So that's just kind of the brief, you know, 10,000 foot view of the verses. None's, not one is better than the other. It just really depends on what you need. So to recap, in this Pro Tools versus Logic debate, if you are planning on moving into a bigger recording studio or you're planning on really making this your career, learn Pro Tools just because it's the industry standard is what you're gonna find in majority of studios. If you are a songwriter and you are going to be moving just in your own home studio and recording in your own home studio, Logic is going to do just fine for you. Logic will work perfectly and it's cheaper than Pro Tools. Pro Tools runs you about $600 while Logic will run you 200. So it is a, it's got an easier point of entry and it has almost all the same features as Pro Tools. And so you cannot go wrong there. So really, it's just a matter of what it is that you need. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button. And I just am I'm so thankful that you're here listening to me talk about stuff I'm passionate about. I hope that you can uh, cut some corners by just hearing some of these things. And I just hope to give you very um, easy to understand content Thank you again. I hope to see you in the next video.